This video is about how to write clean code in your formatting and comments. First, formatting. Formatting is subjective. The main point is not to argue over formatting. Just choose a certain type of formatting between you and your team and just go with it. It's important to be consistent. I'm just going to go over a few things about formatting. One is that you should use consistent capitalization. So here's an example of the bad way. Um, you can see there's two constants here. So you could choose either way as long as you're consistent, but we're gonna change this to days in month. Okay, and down here we have two arrays and we have the songs array and the artist array. We're just gonna make this not capitalized so it'll be consistent. Now we have two functions, this one's camel case, this one's not, so let's change this so it's consistent. And then we have two classes. Uh, just make sure they're consistent. If this is lowercase, this should be lowercase. Next up is function callers and callies should be close together. Ideally, the caller should be right above the callee. We tend to read code from top to bottom, so it should make sense just reading down how the code's supposed to go together. So let's look at this bad example. We have a bunch of functions, and we're gonna change the order here. You can see that this uh, perf review function calls three other functions. So we're gonna just cut that out and put that first. And the first function it calls is get peer reviews. So let's put that one right after the perf review. And this calls look up peer, so we'll put that one next, it's already next. And now the next one that this perf reviews function calls is get manager reviews. So we'll put that next. And this is going to call lookup manager, so that's next. And now this calls get self review, which we will put last here. So now we've reordered the functions in this, so it makes more sense. It kind of reads in order now. Now we're going to move on to comments. Only comment things that have business logic complexity. Comments are an apology, not a requirement. Good code comments itself. So let's look at a piece of code here. We have this function hash it, and then look at the first comment, the hash. Well, we can tell it's the hash. That's what the name of the variable is. So let's take that one out, and then we have length of string. Well, we can see just by reading the, the code that this is the length of the string, so we don't need that comment. This says loop through every character in data. Yeah, I think most people know that for means it's a loop, so we can take that one out. Um, get character code. Well, this says right here, care code at. So see, a lot of comments are unnecessary. Make the hash. Well, we're saying hash equals something, so we must be making the hash. This is the only comment we're going to keep. Convert to 32-bit integer, because this may be a little less obvious to some people what it means. So you can still keep some comments, just n nothing that's pretty easy to figure out just by looking at the code. The next thing is don't leave commented out code in your code base. That's why we have version control. So if you have this function, do stuff, and then you had all these other functions and you're not using them anymore, so you commented them out, uh, just get rid of them. Because you can always go back using your version control system to previous versions, and you don't need to keep that in your code. Next up is don't have journal comments. This is another thing that you should use your version control for. Use git log to, to get the history of your code, so you don't need to have the history right in your code. So we're just going to delete all these. And then the last one is avoid positional markers. So this right here, these are th these are markers just to so you can see where in your code you are pretty easily. But they just add noise. You should let the functions and variable names and just how you format the code give the, your, the structure to your code. So you don't need these. Well, thanks for watching. This has been the last video in my Clean Code series. All these videos were based on Ryan McDermott's great article on the topic. You can check the link in the description to see the original article. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.